So at one point in my life, I had to get a good understanding about forgiveness because I felt like I had the wrong understanding of what it's supposed to be because I was trying to forgive and reconcile at the same time. And I heard a preacher say that, and it does make sense that sometimes we feel like we have to get back on the same basis with this person as before. And after the offense, you know, we have to act like nothing happened and everything is good. But I feel like that's what makes unforgiveness so strong because we really don't really deal with the problem and we don't try to navigate it with wisdom. Like some friendships and some relationships, they just don't need to get back together. You know, we don't have to rekindle anything that, you know, whatever happened, it should have happened because that relationship, friendship probably was not good, you know, in the beginning, probably wasn't a good thing for both of us to be in. And I just believe that certain things do happen to just bring some separation to those type of connections. And I think in other cases is that we kind of can jump the gun a little bit. You know, when it comes to being hurt, either by a family member or a friend, spouse, whatever that situation is. And what I mean by jump the gun is that this, the offense may not be that terrible thing like we make it out to be. And I can just say maybe you heard someone say something terrible about you. Now, could that be the first time? It could be. Now, if it's like a whole process, if it's like a habit for them, like you always catching them or somebody's coming to you telling them what they said, this, this, and that, then maybe that's something you need to check out. But if this is just, maybe they said something about you, or maybe you may have offended them, or maybe you have hurt them at one point, then that's something that you can fix with them, maybe need to talk with them. And that's something that I'm, you know, just trying to work out in my own head when it comes to, like, family, and, you know, when it comes to relationships that I do treasure, that, yes, you know, we can't hurt each other. We can't hurt people. Now, I'm just going to stop and say this. These are just my own thoughts. I'm not saying that you have to, you know, go and do this, this, and that. And, of course, I'm always open to, you know, people's wisdom on these things because one of the things I have to learn how to do is let go. And sometimes I feel like I have to hold on to things just hoping that things will change, hoping this person will change, hoping this person will start respecting me and this person will start you know, doing right by me. But if I know that this is a constant habit and this is what always happens when I'm involved with this person, then I need to have enough strength and just courage to leave. That doesn't mean I didn't forgive the person. It's just that this relationship that we had, this friendship, connection, whatever it was, that it's not going to work out. And it is best for us to separate. And I think that's also a hard thing for people to do as well because, you know, we kind of base everything off of history. You know, we have history with this person. We've been friends with this person for so long. But I have to look at the quality of things. Like, what's the quality of their friendship? What's the quality of their relationship? What's the quality of that connection? I guess that work relationship or even that relationship with the business, the company. What was the quality of it? If the quality was not there, it wasn't good, then it was meant to fall apart. Because I noticed something from a past incident. It's like, this situation I was in with this person, more like a friendship, that it started off cool, but I noticed that we were going two different ways. And I didn't really try to just stop and kind of talk with this person about it or try to see how things were going, but I kind of just went along with things. And I noticed it was one just misunderstanding that happened, and it kind of just blew up everything. And at that point, you know, I just made my mind that, hey, I need to sever the ties with this person and just, you know, it's best that we go our separate ways. And of course, it was more to that story that led up to that point because I also have to look at when it comes to these type of situations uh, with dealing with offenses is that I have to see how that person been moving lately, who they've been around, who they've been talking to, because I do see that when you have like a good friendship, maybe have a good relationship with somebody, that there can be people on the outside that may be jealous of that, or they may start to compare their own relationship with that person to your connection with them. And they may try to do things to kind of like break that up because they don't like what they're seeing. And when I see or kind of witness that, it made me think that, hey, if you want that type of connection with that person or relationship with them, why can't you just build that? You know, that's just something like I just think because I think sometimes we just feel like that 
that things can get better for us. I don't know what it is with this jealousy and with this comparison. We just feel like that everything has to be like the popular thing, that everything has to go a certain way, and we just don't want to put the work in or time in to make things better. So when I look at forgiveness, I look at it as, you know, it's me letting go, letting go of the offense. And as I let go of the offense, I look into the wisdom of me trying to go forward certain things like what is the wisdom I need when it comes to this relationship, this connection I have with this person? Do I need to go further or do I need to just sever the ties? So I do want to talk about the part of when you do need to just reconcile and I can just use this sample toward family. Now, yes, I understand family has issues, you know, I'm not going to say that it's the perfect family out there. And I do understand that people have some deep rooted issues in their families where connections are just not, I guess, feasible at that time. But I do feel like when you look at the offense, whatever happened between y'all, if it's something small, something little, talk about it. Be honest with it. Something I'm challenging myself on is that to be completely honest with people around me. And what I mean by completely honest, have the conversations I need to have. And don't pretend like I'm happy with a situation I'm not. If I'm not happy being treated a certain way, I need to speak up and say that. And then sometimes, you know, I feel like maybe some separation do need to happen, uh, especially with family. If I feel like I'm not being treated fairly in that environment, then I need to separate for a while, kind of put some distance there to get the right understanding about how I need to move forward. And it's okay if you have to, I guess, cut off a certain connection for a while because I do look at people's behavior. I do look at the actions that they make. And if it feels like a person is not trying to make the relationship better, then, you know, it's safe to say that, hey, maybe you do need to move on. Now, I am open to wisdom. So more wisdom. Somebody else have a different opinion about that. But I really am into trying to build authentic relationships. And I know forgiveness has to be there. Now, I'm not saying that if someone offends you, that you have to immediately cut it off. Because I think that sometimes the mindset we get into. If they say something wrong, do something wrong. And sometimes it can be off a misunderstanding. We feel like, okay, I'm not in fool with them. Let's cut them off. Let's put them away. But I think when it comes to trying not to reconcile with someone, is that it has to be based off, I would say, a pattern. Of things um, if it's a one-time thing you know I'm trying to even work within myself that maybe I need to show a little bit more grace but if I know that this is a pattern for you and I'm looking at how you treat me and nothing really has changed and this is what it has been over and over again then then you know what then I have to make decisions like hey we need to part ways and one thing I do want to say last thing is that we have to also understand when it comes to picking people to be in relationship with or friendship with or these all different types of human connections that we need to understand what it means to be in that relationship, what it means to, you know, find somebody to date a partner in life, what it means to have a sister, what it means to have a brother, what it means to be a friend. Because when you start to understand those definitions and the real purpose of it, then we're going to be more intentional in who we pick to be in connection with. Because I think that's the issue too. It's like we don't know what that means. And it's okay. I know some of us, you know, we had wrong examples. We had some pretty bad examples when it comes to family or when it comes to work or when it comes to friendship. But once we recognize we got the wrong example, then we also need to learn how to find the right example and just make it our business to say, hey, I'm going to find the right people to be around, them, be around and learn how to build type relationships based on that.